Welcome back to The Living Life Show. Now, we were issued a challenge last week. In honor of our little foray to spring training, could we do a pizza of the week that was a hot dog pizza? Well, we're going to try. We've got all our ingredients together to make sort of a chili dog pizza. What we're going to do, instead of assembling the pizza first and putting it in the oven, is we're going to bake the pizza crust first. So, I'm going to take our handy dandy Trader Joe's ready-made pizza dough ro and roll it out. Now, pizza technique can be really complex or really simple. I go for the really simple and just sort of stretch it out around on the board. Now, we're really lucky. We have our handy dandy wood countertop. So, I just stretch everything out, flour everything up. If you get a tear, I just sort of pinch it, fold it over. And because I hate single-use cooking tools, I use a paella pan. Now, take a little bit of cornstarch, or cornstarch, uh, cornmeal, and just sprinkle the bottom of the pan. Drop in your pizza dough. It doesn't have to be really neat because you can move it around. It's flat. You've got a nice floured piece of bread dough. And stretch it around till it sort of makes a circle. I mean, this isn't a pizza parlor. Precision isn't important. And we're just going to take this, put a little bit of olive oil on it to see, see uh, to seal it up, and pop it in a 425 oven for 10 minutes. Okay, dough's out of the oven. Got a little golden brown action going here. It's nice and crispy. You really like this. It shrunk a little bit, but that's not a big deal. So, we're going to make it a pizza now. I have some canned chili, since it's going to be kind of a chili dog thing. And I'm just going to take this and spoon it on top, kind of like pizza dough or pizza sauce. Uh, don't glob it on too thick. Even though we've pre-cooked it, I kind of like to avoid soggy pizza. But that's me. And I tend to roll out my pizza pretty thin. So, so we've got we've got the chili dog, the, the chili going. We have our finest kind, Nathan, Nathan's hot dogs, kosher of course. And we'll spread those around, kind of like you'd put pepperoni on a pizza. I don't mind telling you I'm a little nervous about this. Uh, I don't know if we're going to come up with a you know, sin against God and man or a really delectable little lunch. Um, I've got a little sauerkraut that I'll just sort of artistically place on top of the pizza. Give you a little tang. Because I like colors in my food, also got some green onion. Normally I'd probably just use sliced yellow onion, but it's kind of nice to have some color. More color, cheddar cheese. What would a chili dog be without cheddar cheese? Now all of this is going to go back in the oven for about another seven minutes to finish browning up the crust, heat the hot dogs, melt the cheese, heat up the chili. Okay, it's not bad. It's a chili dog with a crispy bottom. I don't know if it's going to really replace pepperoni pizza anytime soon, but it would be really funny to do at a party. So, I've got my hot dog pizza, my beer, and now I'm going to go watch the game. Ooh.